Okay, so this is our new watch phone here at CES. Uh, it's a quad band GSM device uh, with HSDPA, so it's 7.2 HSDPA. So as you can see, it's really you know leather band, uh, glass face, metal surround. It has a mic and a speakerphone built in, so you can talk to the watch directly on your wrist, or it uh, has uh, Bluetooth support, so you can use either a mono or a stereo headset to make phone calls as well. So as you can see here, we have one of the watch faces on here, and I'll uh, switch. You can also change it to more of a digital font. So there's several different fonts, uh, watch faces in there that you can uh, select from. And then I'll show you the uh, main menu. So the main menu has you know, your uh, dialing, contacts, tools, music, messaging, and settings. I'll uh, show you a quick demo of the uh, dialing. So it is a touch screen, so you can dial, tap out your phone number right on your wrist. Or uh, if you have a Bluetooth headset, you can use voice command and you can dial voice command as well. Speaker independent voice dialing? Yes. And uh, the one last thing I can show you here is the uh, media player. So if I go in and select it. MP3 that's loaded to the phone. That'll play over a stereo Bluetooth. Exactly. So you, you can't hear it here this loud, but it'll play through the embedded speaker or over uh, ATV. And what about battery life? Can you tune in? They're not announcing battery life at this time, um, but it is scheduled to release in the second half of this year globally. Okay. Going to see it in, do you know which market to see um, I do believe Europe will probably be first. Um, other than that, I'm not sure. Okay. Take a look at it from the side to see the profile. Yeah, there's some buttons on the side as well. Any kind of USB connectivity for hooking up, you know, for syncing contacts or anything? Right now it's all done via Bluetooth. Okay. So uh, I don't know in the final production, but I don't know if it'll have like a mini USB. Okay.